Welcome to When the Levy Breaks on BeTerrific.com. Uh, we got lost coming here tonight, uh, me and John. I mean, to get lost with John is like, but I, I just can't fucking, I, the GPS was wrong. It was wrong. I don't care what anybody says. Okay, yeah, it was wrong. Yeah. And I'm just, computer I, 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 driven GPS was wrong and used to were right. Yeah, John said it, it's probably kids <laughs> moving the streets, playing games. And I was like, John, I'm so fucking pet. I'm just yelling shit out the window. Did you think you were on a railroad track and somebody switched a thing and you went down the wrong track? It, it basically looked like that on the GP. Mm -hmm. And I'm screaming out the window, gypsy curse! <laughs> you know, fucking... Uh, Knackers. <laughs> nappers. You know, I'm, I'm yelling nappers all over the place. Nappers. Yeah, I, 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 I'm just like... Jews out of the window for no reason, just because I'm I'm just furious. Uh -huh. And then I get to a light, and it's just trapped. And it's the longest light you ever seen in your fucking life. That light was like five it minutes. Was. And I just fucking, I, you can kill somebody. That's why you, people shouldn't be in cars anymore. Because I got, I, I mean, if I had a map and I had to blame a map, imagine me going, oh, this map is wrong. I, I probably said that. This time. Pam is wrong. No, you're dyslexic, Bob. It's a map. <laughs> no, but I, I get so fucking man, and especially him, he doesn't give a shit. He thinks he's on a fucking ride. <laughs> had fucking one of those little kids. Yeah, he's like there. a kid, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, he doesn't he's give a shit. He's on the Scrambler over yeah. in uh, we Asbury saw, Park. We yeah. saw a guy with a leaf blower. <laughs> yeah, it was a guy with a leaf. I go, it's February. You don't need fucking your leaves blown, you know what I mean? How far away <laughs> were you blown. where you got lost? How far away were you we, guys? We were, I was like, we're like six minutes away, and then we're fucking one turn, and I'm like, I think that was it. And I go, fucking 12 minutes. Yeah. And he's like, well, things happen, you know. It's like, it's like, it's like you don't care uh, about anything. I I'm glad he contributed much by saying uh, things happen. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. It is yeah, <laughs> deal with it, you know. But I'm fucking yelling Jews out the window and fucking anything I can think of at that moment. You were trying to blame, blame somebody. You yeah. just went for the Jews. <laughs> yeah, <you>? yeah. <laughs> Women, <laughs> just screaming. Jews, liberals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I, I just hate. You know what I mean? These things shouldn't be wrong. And it was wrong. It took us to a dead end, and it was a fence up. So, you know, there was no way. So to, maybe you thought that it, that road went through. That's why yeah. I said to Bob, there was like a chain link fence there. It was like out of a movie. No, no lights. There's like dogs blowing cats. It's freaking, yeah. It was sexy. Weird. We stopped for a little while, put the lights on it. But it was just. John's got some weird thing with animals <laughs> blowing each other. I know. I know. But it was really weird. Uh, I don't know if he's using the Wave app. No, I don't use the Why Wave. I don't even know what uh, the fucking Wave is. Ways. Or you just oh, use uh, Google, Google Maps or something. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever it says. Because when you guys first said you got lost, I'm like, you live three miles off of the New Jersey Turnpike, and you just take that one road until you get off the Turnpike, and you're less than a mile from this place. I love how when did you guys get lost. Look, I love when somebody who lives around here tells us yeah. how it is to drive no, I a am, fucking hour look, and a half. I'm an idiot, but I know where I'm going 99 percent of the you time. Hit that. I, I don't have to hit anything. <laughs> you don't have to tell me what to do. I'll fucking hit you. I, I'll hit you. I will wake you up so fucking. Oh my god! You you are a fucking right hook. John was telling dream. him to have. Look at apparently that. you're telling him to hit that. You were telling him to have sex with the phone. Like, yeah. <laughs> yo, I'd hit that. Yo, what is there a picture of Betty White on it? You creepy fucking douchebag. I don't know how you you these New York comics can live up here with this traffic. There's oh. there's too much traffic. There's everywhere. everywhere. Everybody's got to get out. Of, why do they got to get out of work at the same time? Why don't, why don't we make it every other hour, you know? Yeah, and then let different them go shifts, like right? Yeah. It's like, why have them all there at the same fucking time to go home <laughs> at the same time so I get stuck in traffic after I wake up at 2 in the afternoon? <laughs> you know? It's I bullshit. Said, can't people feel bad for you that you woke up at 2 and you had to sit in 15 minutes of traffic? Not in the morning up? like that. <laughs> Not in the morning, evening. I said to Bob, too, I go, look at that. There's an apartment house there in the middle of... Well, oh, yeah. Up, and Bob goes, yeah, imagine waking up there and seeing a foot coming out of the swamp. <laughs> yeah, and that's what it is. You're looking out at the swamps there. There's so many dead bodies there. Yes. And all you got to go is go in there like with a little clam digger. You'll pull up, you know, a little... A little <laughs> Monsters. Yeah. yeah. We're in Sea Caucus, which is by the uh, Meadowlands, and it's all oh, if swamps I, here. Let me tell all you something. Here. If I drove by that fucking stadium again, one more time, I was going to fucking lose it, <laughs> turning around, going in circles. And circles. It was like... going by the stadium. I, we can't, I go that 
fucking stadium again. It was like Big Ben. You know what I mean? Like in the fucking. And next movie. time I see that stadium, it better be on my left instead of my right, or I'm gonna we be. We passed pissed. it so many fucking. Uh, John goes, "What's the name?" I go, "I don't give a shit what the name. They changed it. <laughs> yeah. I don't fucking know. It used to be the Meadowlands. Now it's something else. Maybe yeah, I don't it's know. They Met changed it. Stadium. Met yeah. Life. Oh great! Now I, I don't know where the Meadowlands is. I, I got a. I got out of work a little early today. I was. You so, got out of work early today. Uh, you were fucking late. I, he gets to my house hey. at fucking three thirty, and he. I go, how long? He goes, I'm on ninety five. I go, how long until you get here? Uh, Nothing. And then he goes, I had to put gas. And then he writes, in my car. I'm good. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, I, you just want to walk. You know, when he pulls up, you want to run out with a baseball bat and just start clubbing his and fucking I, right. window and smashing got, his head. I had to put new stuffing in my puppets to keep them uh, healthy. I'll be there. I'll be there by 3.30. Yeah. No, I, had to, I was done work late because, you know, those pretzels ain't going to sell themselves. But they, uh, uh, but, you know, I, right now, I, you know, I think the show has got my, my Flyers hat on. Yeah. Do you ever wear an out-of-state uh, any sports uniform up in the here by the Meadowlands? Because people see the Flyers and they're like, Flyers fucking suck. Oh, yeah. Uh, I used to purposely wear a Boston Red Sox uh, hat yeah. in the early 2000s <laughs> before they won the World Series right. just to piss off Yankee fans. I used to paint myself like oil can boys. <laughs> And uh, walk in New York City. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? They're fucking, well, uh, he's got different colors on. Let's fuck yeah. him up. People do think like that because they're fucking idiots. Yeah. They're yeah. not normal like me. They yeah. fucking go, you wear whatever the fuck you want. If you don't like to something, don't fucking listen. Don't look. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. That's a simple fucking thing. Like people, you own the team. Like, uh, yeah. Like yeah, people fucking, get, I mean, look, I've been going to Jet games forever. And you know how many times I saw A lot of losers grown, do. Yes. You know how many times I've seen grown own men getting into fights because you root for a different group of millionaires, uh, athletes. I'm like, oh, really? Let's uh, just have fun. You know, if you want to break balls and all that, but they're getting into fights. I'm like, my, really? Yeah. My God, you what? Can, when the Flyers play the Jersey Devils down in Philly, and there's always a couple of guys just come down the turnpike to Philly. They're always getting their asses beat like drunken <laughs> yeah. Flyer yeah. fans. Philly, uh, Philly's well, a special place uh, when it comes <laughs> to that. Especially hockey, and they don't even really talk about hockey anymore. But, I mean, yeah, but, like at the games, I the first game I ever went to was the giant game against the Redskins in the Meadowlands. It'll always be the Meadowlands. Correct. Okay? And uh, some lady had a Washington Redskin, like she had the feather thing on her head. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking poured beer all over her. <laughs> and I'm a kid. And I'm like, oh my God. This is... This is how you treat women. Ugh. And that's how I learned. No, <laughs> no, but that's... Look, to see that when you're like 14 and, um, and some... And grown men are, t are pouring beer on some lady. Sit. You're like, this is going to be a tough life for a lot of I, people. Uh, my friend yeah. went to Philly once to to go to an Eagles game, and he went with a friend of his and the kids and his son, ten year old kid. So they're sitting there, and they're like 15 feet away from the concession stand. And the kid's dad goes, and and they think they're playing Dallas. And I think the kid was wearing like Dallas gear. And he goes, "Can I go get uh, nachos at the uh, concession stand?" And his father looks; it's right there. Yeah, yeah. So he gives it to him. The kid walks over, Safe. comes back five minutes later, covered in nachos. <laughs> Some <laughs> piece of shit took the nachos and smashed it over the kid's head. He's a ten-year-old kid. But I'm you like, know damn well that guy went home and he goes, "Yeah, this fucking kid comes out with this Dallas shirt. I, I put the nachos there, all over. The cheese was this, all over." He his was probably head. drunk. He said, "I smashed these nachos over this midget's head." <laughs> <laughs> there was a, there was a. Um, uh, a mascot, but it wasn't a, what do you call it? An authorized mascot. Some guy used to go to all the Eagles game. His name was Bird Brain, and he had a homemade Eagles thing. Oh, and it was yeah, all it was missing a uh, wing. <laughs> yeah, he's right. Like yeah. pigeon feathers. It was yeah. like ghetto kind of fucking. You know what I mean? It was like his and, beak was crooked. And, his one leg was dipped in like a uh, frying. It was all fried and, up and was, shit. Was yeah. it? Was it years ago? Like I went to a, a game and I saw Mr. Met up close. And I don't know, maybe he's changed. I don't know, you guys are off Did you think it was your brother? No, but that no. Head? the tumor's <laughs> gone now with Mr. Matt. Yeah. But he was all, looking like he was, he was all dirty. Do you remember that guy years ago? Uh, he was called the Clown Prince of Baseball. And he was a guy who used to no. go to games. Oh, God, that was Max. Max something. Oh, okay. That years ago. Yeah, some weirdo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he would just go up there and just move around and make faces. Yeah, yeah you know, his uh, face change. But sometimes I, I, got, I got free passes to go to the uh, Trenton baseball game, the Trenton AAA well, team. You should get free passes. Uh, for but that. Jeff, Jeff, go over those AAA games. How like they, they don't have any money for any entertainment, and between between innings, they have uh, things for the kids to do: face painting and or that thing where you, you put your head on a baseball bat and spin around to so go dizzy. And stuff. Yeah. But they have like shitty giveaways oh, too. The like, old date rate. 
Kool-Aid trick <laughs> yeah. that we used to use in the 60s. Just, uh, we I, didn't have pills back then like you fucking punks is, these days. Well, you'll see baseball was a lot better back then. You know what yeah. I mean? That's right. Pill Cosby. You know, in baseball, when you can get, you know, you, you can spin the girl around, get a little dizzy. You did that in the 50s. Oh, that's how I got the third base every week. <laughs> I, I said I wanted to accidentally to an Albanian orphan night where you... <laughs> Oh, they yeah. gave weight orphans. <laughs> Those were big. They would sell like 50 seats for that. Albanian you know? orphans. Yeah. Oh, I see. You see the kid running around the yard. You're like, hey, Bill, you went to the game I see last night. <laughs> yeah, it's just, you, know, oh. you don't want to get anything there. You don't want to look for you know, a number to, if somebody's calling. But, uh, you know, Just send a fucking cameraman over to you and yeah. give you whatever the fuck but, you want. Hey, Bob and I were talking like years ago when you did comedy. We were talking years ago. No, no, but you I mean, oh, let's <laughs> A great memory. Yeah, it's exactly. Fun. Yeah, no, he but, can't find his way to sea caucus. But remember, like uh, 15, 20 years ago, doing a comedy show and, and have to use MapQuest or that map book. Yeah, and it's never updated. Yeah, well, that's what it, that's uh, what we dealt with today. But you know what I mean? It was like did, did they might have changed the road or something. I don't know. But we were lost and fucking. It was scary. You know, I had to put the lights on the last <laughs> minutes of this ride. It was scary. <laughs> well, it was scary because you weren't in Camden. You no, were in Sea Caucus. He yeah. wouldn't stop talking. I was driving towards Camden. <laughs> uh, I was like, holy shit. I am. Uh, what? I I have a I still have a GPS on my car. I don't use my phone. But I, I never updated it. It always says, you must update it. I must update it. And it, I swear it had me turn, make turns at the stores at like Bradley's or Two Guys. Or <laughs> Hitler make Bur a left at Corvette's. Yeah. Hitler Burger. Hitler Burger. <laughs> Hitler, Burger. <laughs> Hitler Burger was huge What's, in Philly. <laughs> they call it a it cover, cover wagon repair shop. Yeah. <laughs> How old is this? Uh, <laughs> Throw four more in the oven. <laughs> that, that place used to do. Oh my God! They had everybody who was from Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Give the Jew cheese. <laughs> Hitler burger. That you would know, be. I live in L.A. and the traffic here is a. The traffic there is ten times worse than here. Yeah. And so are the people. They're annoying fucking, uh, oh, look at me, cocksuckers. I mm -hmm. fucking, I hope all their houses fall off the mountains and just fucking, I can see them on TV holding their fucking mother who made them a star. I'm talking about <laughs> No, I actually, I fucking, I'd bang all of them. Well, the I'd worst thing about L.A. is that you can, you'll sit there and see all this traffic on all their highways, and then you'll see their buses empty. Mm -hmm. Nobody uses mm -hmm. they, because they all want to be outside or everybody wants to be cool and they want to have their car. Wait a minute. So nobody uses the bus. They now. don't use public I thought, transportation. I thought California in LA. was a big uh, population of bus people. Oh, you mean bust no. in? Bus people. People that use buses. Oh, yeah. What do you go like? Not environment, in LA. Environmental. Not in LA. No. Oh, good. I can I, throw that one. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Now I know what he's talking about. <laughs> you guys are so. It's unbelievable. It's, it's a it, Mexican reference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, El Buso, you should have said, cancel what it got me. <laughs> I could have said it any other way. <laughs> People would have got it. But um, I think everyone else got it. It's okay. But fucking the Super Bowl. Whoa. Well, that was, it, it was a good game, and then it went to a shit game. Yeah, well, then, it was a good game, but I didn't win anything on my pool, so it was a shitty game. No, you never went on a pool. I you won did. two years ago. When you win? Two grand. All right, that ain't bad. That's not bad. Yeah. The only time I ever won, though. That I, was it. I, plus, I thought you were supposed to not be a racist toward Indians, but didn't I hear the whole the chant, whoa, 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 during the game? Oh, yeah, that's the Kansas City. It's one thing that's annoying about the Chiefs is well, that... Is that but they're racist. <laughs> no. yeah. Them no. and the Atlanta Braves do it. Yeah. yeah. It is annoying. When I heard that, I was like, fuck, I wanted them to win. Now I hope something happens. Really yeah. Quick. Yeah. Because, because it's a, of that fucking chance. And I don't even think it's whatever. Ray, it's just annoying. Mm -hmm. It's not you get, get 50,000 people going, <laughs> you know, you want their hands to like fall off, you know? They're just annoying. Yeah. I mean, I thought it was a good game. Yeah. You know it was good. I mean? But then it was, it kind of got dead. And then yeah. And then good. at the end, it just. You know, that Patrick Mahomes, he's just amazing, that mm -hmm. dude, you know? He is. I mean, all I mean is his girlfriend could shut the fuck up. Oh, she yeah, just screams that. into fucking things, but, oh, man, she must be some fuck. Um, screaming yeah, like yeah. That, 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 uh, people are complaining about the halftime show. I'm not being in it, like... I, I don't know. It all sounded like the same song to me. I didn't recognize yeah, I mean, any songs. Well, they, they yeah. touch off. They did some Zeppelin. They did everything. They did know? a little bit. And look, the, chor the choreography that was, was great, mm -hmm. but it's just... 
they're lip syncing. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's and I get it. You know, it's like then just go out there and just dance to the music. Uh, don't yeah. pretend to be singing. That's what they're I running thought. around for fifteen minutes and they sound amazing while mm. they're running. It's like yeah, no, not breathing heavy. Yeah, I can't even talk and <laughs> fucking run a but, little. I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm so used for like the past like ten Super Bowls, like some bands playing, but they always had a guest star, like ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Steven Tyler. Yeah. Right here they had these rapper guys. I don't know who they were. Oh, the two guys. Yeah, yeah. I Did think you they noticed J Lo was bleeding. She had. <laughs> string hanging out. She no, a, that was the no, that, was had, that was her other costume rat, underneath. There. That, that was, was her, a rat tail. That was her. <laughs> that was her other costume. No, <laughs> she, she had, had no. She fucking. It's a fuse. She had a pad. Okay. <laughs> she was padded up too. Was it the the the, the fuse for the bomb? Yeah. <laughs> but can you imagine? You know what I was saying. The good thing is, is that no, it's not the good thing. But this, it's a sad thing that Selena is dead. Yeah, and now we have to put up with J Lo well, because, because of her, that because movie, of her getting murdered. Yeah, that movie. You know what I mean? Propelled her career. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. Because before that, she, she was a fly girl. There. She was a fly girl on uh, she in Living Color. Yeah, she would never. She would have never been fucking Alex Rodriguez. She would have just been fly paper. Yeah, she, she would have been. Yeah, she would have been stuck to some fucking <laughs> landscaper's bed in East LA. Yeah. You know what I mean? Truthfully, I mean, you got to think you know, of how much life changes over something fucked up like that. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, she she's good at you know. I, I look, I don't know really her songs, but she's good at dancing, and obviously she shaking can sing. that fucking ass. So she's Holy 50. shit! I she's would have ate her ass after the, the mm. whole plane ride there, the dancing, and then the plane ride back. <laughs> I, bet. I would have been waiting there, like num num, with a fucking <laughs> red lobster. Yeah, you would have had a bib and a, and a placemat right uh, right on her. She always I would move into her asshole. I'd watch. She has a mean look on her face. You're, she never looks I've happy. I've heard she is not a nice person. I've heard. Uh-huh. That from many different. You sources. said Amy Schumer wasn't a nice person. You're I, the one that first started that rumor. I didn't start the what? rumor. But <laughs> I know somebody that started uh, in comedy with her. And, and what? Tell us about that. I, what do you mean? I want to know about <laughs> it. Is she a cunt or not? I, look, I don't know. What did you hear, fella? <laughs> Holy shit! He scared the fucking. Uh, what are you gonna? You can't make a wave if you're not in the water in this business, Joe. Let's go. You know, I can make a wave with my foot. No, all right? fucking let's go. Let's go. No, man. my 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 uh, friend of ours who I know started with her, and they hadn't seen each other in a long time. Oh, okay. And I guess it was when uh, I guess Amy was first uh, getting into Comedy Central, mm-hmm. and I think she went into a restaurant that. Her friend was there. They hadn't seen each other in years. Oh, that must have been a great. And her friend was like, "Oh my god, Amy, you know how you been? Blah blah blah. I'm so happy for you. You know, it's so great that all this happened." She just kind of looked at her, and be like, "Yeah, can you get me a table?" <laughs> oh uh, man, I look. I don't know. Look, that's what she so said. I'm Who glad knows? I made her cry when she looked at my post. <laughs> I heard. Oh, oh yeah, that's fucking you just, great. Well, that's when we used to do the other podcast. You used to just, every week, you used to hammer Amy Schumer. But she, and she just got that face that upsets me. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's like having a pig yell at you. Well, I think it's, it, you always wonder when somebody who who becomes, well, you know, well off or famous or whatever, and they're like a dick. And you wonder, did they become a dick because they got famous, or was it already in them? No pun intended. Uh, yeah, but I, I, I just, I can't see people changing. Yeah, you, you can are. change you a little can. bit. You, you can can't change, change a little. yourself you can, because no matter what, I'm always going to be this. You understand? And that and this is crazy. I, yes, and I don't see how <laughs> anything can change you at any time. Because it's just so it, fake. It's who you are. It yeah. should be who you are. Yeah. So when you hear, look, uh, when she's somebody a twat, she's a twat. It's yeah. fine, Joe. You when when, when somebody up. says, uh, "I went to uh, saw De Niro eating with his wife, and I went and bothered <laughs> him to get a to get an autograph," and he was like, "Can you leave me alone?" He's such a dick. It's like you know, they, they, let let the person have dinner. You don't bother people. But, but, but that's what it is. You don't know him to begin with, so stop it. You know what I mean? Right. You're the same guy that when he dies, you're gonna post a picture of him on Facebook no, no, and I'm say not. how much how much. <laughs> Fucking, uh, he meant to your life, but you don't say it when he's alive. You wait till he's dead so you can make his funeral about you like you did with Kobe. Everybody did. You fucking pathetic fucking humans, okay? Oh, yes, but- it's sad somebody dies, but fucking don't make it about you. Well, people make it you about fucking them, yeah. loser um, pieces of shit, like- okay? <laughs> About a, over yourself. Like a month ago, Danny Aiello passed away. Yes. And I think every comedian 
and, uh, the, and the East Coast had their picture taken with them. Yeah, and they, you know, and they, it's look, it's like nine eleven. You know how many people we knew were like, dude, mm. two weeks before oh, yeah. I was oh, walking down God. West Street <laughs> and I saw the buildings, and then two weeks later, they're demo- I'm like, really? I you're, just you're seen a- those on TV. <laughs> you heard that about fucking everything. Put yourself in the situation because yeah. you're not in it. Just shut the fuck up and go on with your fucking life and fucking make an experience for yourself. <laughs> you fucking pieces of shit. Yeah, four we'll years be right before. Back after this, because <laughs> I gotta go see if the building's t- around. Uh, <laughs> there was, uh, people. We gotta take a break. Uh, we're fucking uh, talking, uh, yapping, yapping, yapping. Uh, break. Holy <laughs> shit! It's like having a fucking bird. <laughs> You got to shut it up. You put the fucking curtain over John's head so he can go to sleep tonight. <laughs> You're listening to When the Levy Breaks on BeTerrific.com. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to when the Levy Levy breaks. Huh? I tricked you there. <laughs> Thought I couldn't read, didn't you? <laughs> On BeTerrific.com, BeTerrific Radio TV, we're back with Joe Conti, John Kensel, and you. Welcome back, guys. Uh, it's yes. good that you got that truth out about Amy Schumer. That she's <laughs> the shit. truth. You have firsthand knowledge of this. <laughs> first hand knowledge. You did. You basically said your best friend. You didn't go, my uncle's friend's cousin went <laughs> no, to a no, game. No, no. Somebody so, I know. It was really close to you. Somebody you very, you can say his name. Hey, listen. Maybe she's just a, she's a bit full of herself. I don't know. It that, sounds like it. You watch those videos on YouTube. Of, they compare her act to, like, Patrice O'Neill's. Yeah, but material. those things, but uh, what they were talking about, those are like, no, you, you know, put it together, dirty Sanchez's and that kind of stuff. likes to bang that, big, fat, white chicks. So. No, but, yeah, it, but those I, weren't I bits. Those weren't bits. Those were like those, uh, you know, like the Spider-Man, you know, like yeah. the, you know, uh, yeah, dirty these, Sanchez. These are yeah. all, yeah, so basically. So that was. Uh, but she did girls. I, I don't know, but whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, I hope she's happy. She had the baby. Hope she didn't eat. Oh, she had a kid? Yeah. yeah and uh, nice. she probably ate the after birth. <laughs> <laughs> after birth <laughs> helper. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm saying it in a nice way. But uh, that disease, that fucking, what is that flu? That fucking bat drop soup, whatever no, the fuck it is? it's coronavirus. The coronavirus. Or as we called it last night, Hong Kong flu <laughs> <laughs> That's a great joke. <laughs> Hong Kong <flu-y>. My friends, <laughs> guy said That's, that the other night. They, they had a photograph. I've said uh, they believe it came from people eating bat soup. Yeah. There's a picture of a bat with like oriental noodles around it. Like, ugh. Is there something, anything they don't eat over there? Like, Yeah, it's like they, they just see something and they're like, you know what? Let's try that. And any animal. <laughs> and look just at like, it. And there was a video of a guy fucking a chicken. Did you see that? No. Yes. I said, look at John how mad he is. He didn't like, see it. Fucking, <laughs> fucking the chicken or he eating it. He was banging actually, a chicken. He was uh, pulling it back to his dick. And not live. It. Not live. live. Live, uh, it, was, it was it was live uh, when they filmed it. I hope it was a no. girl chicken. <laughs> yeah, no, really, that would have been just creepy. Roost is the guys, you idiots. But the whole thing is, he was banging. It's fucking. I mean, I know it's inter- it's rape, right? No, of course, it's got to be. What, what, a cock. Uh, unless you know, it was asking for it. A, a cock. <laughs> what was she, what was she just <laughs> like? <laughs> no, but it, it's so weird that you can even fuck a chicken to begin yeah. with. I mean, uh, I've like heard that I there's a, a chicken, there's a video a, of, of a guy roofie. fucking a chicken, like some sort of. Yeah, but this is how. How these diseases come. You mm-hmm. can't fucking you you come. Eat. Yeah, but you eat a fucking chicken. Yeah, you don't it's, fuck it. It's but just bizarre. That's why they had to build. They built a hospital. They're, they're building it from the ground up. Huge. Yeah. In ten days, they say, it's almost up. Yeah, it's, they, they're, it, they're it's saying it's going to be close to ten days. They're, they they projected ten days, and they say it's going to be close. But that disease has to be fucking awful. That you're going to build a fucking hospital from the ground. We are fucking doomed yeah. because of these bad eating fucking <laughs> oh people that can't look at the and, sun. And, and they, they have pictures every day of a uh, with the I don't know how medically what do you call that up they are people wearing masks made out of anything. Uh, to cover like Halloween masks or putting uh, water, bo- you know, water bottles. One Chinese guy was Freddy Krueger the other day. They're out of masks. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all they have now. You know what I mean? Like, a friend of mine told me I last told. night <laughs> that uh, he he knew a guy that uh, bought like seven thousand surgical masks online. 
you know, in his area, mm. and he, or a ton of them. And because they were all running out, people are buying them like crazy. Yeah, yeah. He made like seven grand in like three days See, this, selling surgical masks. Why don't I think of anything like this? It's genius. I, it, 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 you gotta, I gotta look at everybody who has something horrible happening to them in their life and go, how can I make money off yeah, of it? You have to yeah. be a sociopath. That's basically That's what, what you have it to is. do. You have to be you a basi- scheming sociopath. Oh my God, you basically got to. Kill animals as a kid oh. to want to do this. Yes, you you, you basically are that yeah. horrible of a human. It's yes. like that guy. With you the really animal. are. How horrible? Wait, how horrible is your fucking friend that he fucking waits to a disaster? <laughs> Chinese people are are, are like. Flopping like fish on the floor there from this fucking Michael J. Fox disease. Yeah, yeah. And 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 his friend is going to make money off of this these. Guy made like seven grand. It doesn't matter how much you have to. Oh live. no, I'm how saying. How do you live it's, with yourself? Look, how do you? I'm sure they can do it very, very. Uh, and they can sleep. Is soundly. he a scumbag? Or, He's probably a scumbag. I don't know the guy. You ever try to finger your one of your girlfriends? I don't. He, it's like he probably did. You see, he don't know. He don't know. <laughs> Does he sound like the guy that would fucking you know? One day I'm going to finger your girlfriend. Next thing I'll be selling fucking Chinese people masks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, the guy with the EpiPens. Uh, that, yeah. That creep. Yeah. 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 The guy uh, decided to raise it like 500% and just totally, totally just decided. And he just did it because he just wanted to to just go, hey, you know what? I'm I, just going to raise it from $3 an EpiPen to 500 Because I can do it. <laughs> and yeah, and I think he's in he's in jail now, yeah. right? Yeah, good for him. That, that, Hopefully well, he's, he got more than an EpiPen jammed in his ass. Yeah, he's definitely getting... Uh, <laughs> the EpiPen guy's definitely getting cocked. Oh, yeah, oh my yeah, God. yeah. He's definitely a oh clear of diabetes right through the He ass. looks like a baby calf being born every day with all the liquid all over him. <laughs> you, know, you ever see like a baby calf come out and it's all like... Whoa, whoa, yeah, and all his that legs spewed. are very wobbly. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. like... Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. yeah, yeah. That's and, how he, and all this semen is just dripping off. <laughs> That's what he looks like when he gets out of the lower bunk every time yeah. in, his, uh, in his cell. It's on. You, you know what I mean? Look, there's no, nobody's gonna come in and stop him. You know what I mean? No. I, I would even fucking get like give him more, like squirt it in his mouth as he's banging him from behind. Uh, you know what I mean? Make yeah, sure you want your epi pen juice, motherfucker? Yeah. Oh god, I but, would fucking but, but so do that. They, they, they were showing the photographs of China where the streets are empty. It looks like a zombie movie. There's nobody there. Uh, well, where are you gonna go? You know what I mean? You, you you're gonna find a disease anywhere you go. This is like a horrible game. Like find a disease. Like yeah, you, yeah, you is, know, it's like, all right, this is worse than around. where's Waldo. You know? Yeah, <laughs> but like now you go outside, there's a disease. It's right out your fucking door. It's yeah. waiting for you. Wherever the fuck that little town is, it's everywhere. Yeah. The fucking dogs are gonna get it. You know what I mean? That chicken probably got it. That guy <laughs> oh yeah, well, maybe got eight. <laughs> well, yeah, if he's lucky. <laughs> but you know, this, this this is fucking scary now. This is scary. This is yeah. going to... You don't think that fucking... They're going to put some fucking... Those choppy sticks and, and, and then mail them over here? You choppy understand? Sticks. Well, whatever. It's going to yeah. come from just fucking people sending letters soon. It's going to be worse than you that know, shit that they... The white powder shit. And, and there, they had a girl on last night on the news saying she's trapped in her apartment. She went over there to teach English to Chinese people. And she goes, I can't come home. If you think about it, what are you supposed to do? Come over here and spread it over here? Or just wait till your quarantine's done with Watch Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Uh, yeah. go, <laughs> said like a nice German yeah, yeah, boy. Go, go scissor with. What do you think we're gonna have you here? Yeah, you, yeah really. you got coffee, coffee. You can't come here. Yeah. <laughs> you just hope that because for every horrible, you know, for every one hundred horrible human beings out there, there's one like you know spectacular person, and you hope that there's one person who finds whatever we need to remedy this, mm-hmm. and then everybody can get it, and then we can get back to just hating each other on a regular basis based on politics. Well, that's, right? well, that's, <laughs> that's what, it what is. I'm talking about. Everything right? is like, you know, racist, racist. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, there is no, look, we're out there all the time. I never see people getting treated, you know what I mean? Using the racist thing out there at all. I never, no, even most, most, normal life too. Most people know that uh, it's always in small pockets, but now that everything is filmed and every dummy has a voice. No, but I still never seen it. I no. still never see it. I don't see it when I'm out in real life. No. On TV, they'll show it. On the internet, you'll see it for sure. But I don't see it out there. He's right. You know, also, too, like, if someone says something racist, it's just words that float out in the atmosphere. They're not, like, physically harming somebody. It's just a moron saying the wrong thing. I, I hear morons in bars say, well, there's there's something, there's a difference between being a racist and saying something and racist. And being a grandparent. <laughs> <laughs> the difference is a little off. But, you know, it's, it, there's so much 
of that where everything we see we think is happening everywhere mm. where it's like no uh, there's the, you know the, you, you look at security camera it's almost like saying hey look at the security camera in Walmart T 23 hours and 59 minutes of the day there's nothing going on but that one minute where some 500 pound woman is uh you know pushing a stroller with yeah. like a monkey in it or something <laughs> and you're don't like make it hot. Look, what, look what's going on in Walmart you're yeah, like that's yeah. not what's going on all the time yeah um, that's only the good times yeah yeah it's <laughs> <laughs> those are the good times. Yeah, playing when, a little organ. <laughs> yeah, when somebody's on a fucking one of those fat machines that ride you around fat. with a shit stain on your pants. <laughs> those are the golden fat. days when you fat. walk into, you know, and they're that, just fucking, you know what I mean? They're like, you shit yourself. Ah, let's just get out of here fast. That, that, that website, uh, people of Walmart, there's a Walmart by me. It's just like that. Oh, I believe uh, that. Uh, because it's it's a it's a cross section of everybody. Because mm -hmm. everybody goes to Walmart. It's mm -hmm. numbers, you know? It's like, you know, if you're in a room with a hundred people, guaranteed there's twenty jerk offs uh, in the yeah, room. But what what's wrong with being a jerk? Look, nobody's a, look, how about just being an asshole? Instead of saying he's a racist, he's a jerk off. You don't like me because I'm black. No, I don't like you because you're a jerk off. Because you're a jerk off, yeah. Okay, how about that? That's not racism. No. That's like, you know what I mean? You're either an asshole or you're not. And that's how you judge. That's how I judge so, people. I, I was just talking about it. I said there's so many wonderful reasons to absolutely hate people, except the, like based on their color or or their uh, you know their gender. Just hang out with somebody for like 11 minutes, yeah. and you'll be like, I <laughs> fucking hate this guy. Oh, my God. You yeah. don't have to look at somebody and not like yeah. them. Just talk to them for three minutes. That's it, all you have to that's do. That's all it's, you got to do, Life people. is simple if you just fucking do it the right way. If you want to hate. Just do the work, all right? If you want to hate somebody, put the work in, all right? Take five you minutes out of your say, day. Oh, he's black. I don't like him. He's Chinese. He's white. I don't like him. Right. You can't say that. That's too easy. It's, it's find lazy. Find the reason. Yeah. Find the reason why this person is a piece of shit. Don't be a lazy yeah. hater. Yeah. He's yeah. hate for the right reason yeah. because somebody is a fucking goddamn loser uh, yeah. of a human that yeah. nobody wants. If, if you look up online and say, if someone calls me a racist, how can I defend myself? Just Google search that. The first things that come up, it says, well, find out what you said was wrong and then apologize for it. I'm like, wait a minute, what if I'm not? And someone accuses me of it. You know, right. it's well, it's like, to me, the only time you should ever be forced to apologize is if you're a kid and you're, yeah. you're your kid and you tell your kid, you apologize to yeah. Jimmy. Why did you put the finger in the cat's ass? <laughs> <laughs> apologize to Fluffy over exactly. there. Exactly. <laughs> That's see, the only reason. You've got you're, to learn. Because you're teaching them something. But mm. an adult or a, 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 and a celebrity to go, oh, you need to say you're sorry. What are you getting at? I don't want somebody to be forced to say they're sorry, sorry to me. Sorry it's is the worst mean thing. It's the worst thing that you can Unless they get, mean it. Yeah. If, mm. if they go out of their way because they want to say they're sorry to you. But don't say you're sorry to me because you're going to lose your job. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't want to hear that. I'm upset that you're upset about this. That's all I can yeah. say. That, yeah. and, I don't and that's know honest. Say. That's honest. Though. If I said it, I meant it. That's it. Yeah. I don't fucking have. I'm a, sorry you're a fat fuck, honey. Yeah. But I, you know what I mean? You are. <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm not sorry because I'm right. You know? Yeah. If I was wrong, if I was yelling, saying you were skinny, then I'm then, a liar. Then you're a liar. Exactly. exactly. And that's what you got to be. You can't be fucking, uh, you know, a piece of shit. It's just, it's fra it's fraudulent, you know? And especially now with celebrities and everybody, uh, whether they're tweeting and now everybody has to apologize. It's like, look, apologize if you said something and you didn't mean it. And you're just like, hey, dude, you know, like you're arguing with your friend or your wife and, yeah. and you call and you call her the, the C word. And you're like, honey, I'm sorry, but you, you, you are being it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to hear that. I'm sorry you're such a C word. Yeah. I'm sorry you had to hear the truth like that, <laughs> but I didn't mean to say it. I thought you were in the other room. I apologize. <laughs> well, you got to admit you are being one. <laughs> I mean, really, let's look at the fact. Really? You don't shut the fuck up. You threw an ashtray at me, all right? <laughs> I know. No, I don't clean up after myself, but, you know, there's no reason to be acting like this. You know, you don't see me acting like this because I made a mess and that yeah. shit. Just relax. It'll come back around to you. For some reason, I think these stories are all specific to certain people right now. <laughs> I think I'm talking and Bob's talking about certain people, right? I guess. Not yeah. you, not us, but you people out there. You know, you What do you mean by you people? <laughs> all the people. That you see, there we go. Yeah. But the whole thing is everybody out there is just like you say, you're going to say, yeah. Yeah, I, I, that word 
word is g- great uh, to pull out. I, I use it. I use it. Okay. What well, what word? The, c- the c, oh, c word. word. Yeah. yeah. But I, I, like somebody, I use, a- somebody you know, asked me one day. They go, if you're driving in a car and some black woman cuts you off, what's the first thing you say? I'm like. Cunt. Yeah. That, I, that, that's, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's my first thing. Like, this dumb. And, and that's just me. That it's, it's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. A, it's not about race. It's just that's the first thing I. And if it's a guy, it's like, you fucking asshole. Yeah, but that doesn't work for me anymore because guess what? My wife is not affected by me calling her a cunt. Can you fucking believe that? Your wife. That's my wife. No, that word does not. It doesn't. Cat, call me a cunt. I am a cunt, she'll say. And I have no power. Oh, I don't have that a- word. She took it away. She took it away. Oh. You see that? That's what she- women have to do. They have to take the, the C out of the unt. And fucking, <laughs> that's the only way you're going to be able Take to live. See out of the un- that's like is that on Zoom or something? <laughs> it <laughs> it might have been, but no, you do get what I'm saying. Yes. She took away the the most powerful word that I that that would shut a woman down or freak her out where or she freak would her leave out or, you know, and, whatever. Yeah, but you knew the fight was coming sometime to an end somewhere maybe within 20 minutes of the cops come <laughs> do you ever hear like like in europe like british and irish guys yeah, they, they say that, that say the c word but it doesn't have that same effect every other they, word yeah. Uh, um, yeah i was there with my family they were like have have a good when i was a kid and they were like have a good time you cunts <laughs> no. my my brother went to ireland years ago and he didn't know he thought it was like a gaelic term like the irish people talk so he went by himself and he went to a pub and he asked the bartender he goes can i have a pint of guinness you cunt you the guy goes, what'd you say? And he goes, you country. I thought you, your country was one word, like a pal. Oh, your country. <laughs> it's your country. Uh-huh. And, and the guy goes, what? you don't say that. You don't talk to me like that. <laughs> he goes, That's, it's <laughs> funny. The guy, the other guy at the bar in Ireland had a Philly accent. Yeah, yeah, it was Kevin yeah, Old, man. Yeah, Come man. on. Yeah, knock your it country. off. What kind of beer you want? <laughs> They'd be talking like that to me. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Go um, Eagles. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I could ever, like, date. <laughs> A woman from Philly ever like you know what I mean I couldn't put up like somebody sounded like him that but it had better tits and <laughs> you know what I mean yeah but you, you get what I'm saying right it's a it's it's like okay how can to. I oh. could I ever date a Democrat no I couldn't I couldn't because I just don't believe what they believe nowadays. But you mean like a politician? No, no, not like they're fucking like what you're dem- I'm talking about a woman that fucking believed fully what the Democrats are doing I, I right co- now. I couldn't date a, a woman that believed in the Democrats fully or the Republicans fully. But like if I'm you just, put all of your you put all of your eggs in some jerk offs in Washington, it's like, what are you doing? Think for yourself. Yeah, but I'm not going to put her eggs on my sperm <laughs> because of the fact that we have nothing in common. You know what I mean? At this point, because I see. Lunacy. I see craziness out there. Yeah, and, but see, and that's not from where I voted. And let me tell you something. <laughs> I never voted in once in my life until the last election. Right. Because I seen what they were doing. So thank you. <laughs> And Trump, you can thank me for voting. But, but no, it's just crazy. Bob, you're a great, could, great can, American, Bob. Yeah. You're a great American. No, but how can you? <laughs> you're how can a loser. You date somebody that that thinks like everybody should be in this country. Everybody should, you know what I mean? Get this, get that. And there's but people dying how, on our how, street. That, no. Those are the fringe people, Bob. That's the problem with the, the, the news and social media. Everybody thinks that all Democrats or all liberals think like those crazy fuckers do. And everybody thinks that all these p- conservatives think like these crazy right-wing fucking, uh, you know, these right-wing religious. Most people think rationally. They just spin a little bit to the left and they spin a little bit to the right. But the problem is, guess who has... I always said if there's a crossfire show on like CNN Mm -hmm. with a moderate liberal and a moderate conservative, nobody would watch it. Because it'd be two rational guys with a little bit different opinion, but they're not screaming and yelling and talking about free college or, you know, let's put eight trillion dollars into the military, you know? So... It's, 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 you actually think when you sit there and tell us, you know what, we need to go into these inner cities and build up these inner cities. That's what I said. You sound times. like a rational Democrat. Yeah. yeah. And you also, sometimes you sound like a rational conservative. But so I, you're, no, but the whole thing is, is that when you go in and build up the inner city, it brings in more money, more stores, more jobs, and then everything goes there. So the key is the inner cities. I've said this for years, yeah. but I've never knew, I never knew about politics. I just seen what causes it. Yeah. And, 
and this is how you got to rebuild. And what people say about living there, the streets go to shit. You rebuild, big business comes in, people get jobs, boom, there you go. There, it just creates nice. Yes. And that's kind of what the Democrats do. But the problem is these Democrats that are in politicians, they're too busy just doing what they do, whether it's corruption, getting paid, (laughs) uh, taking care of lobbyists. Strangling people in prison. (laughs) (laughs) He hung them. (laughs) I don't know. My friend has a great line. He goes, I don't know. I'm guessing that if you're the most famous pedophile on the planet, you're probably not going to want to go to jail and you probably (laughs) just killed yourself. Well, that you know what I mean? Look, it it, it doesn't seem look. It seems like he would have been killed right away. Probably. But they said he hung himself. So I I think what he did was he had his attorney say, hey, listen, let's throw a couple of whatever. How much money to have these guys turn their heads so I can take care of what I got to take care of? Because this is a guy who's a billionaire. He had his own Mm. island. And you you want it? You think he's going to go and live in a prison for 30 years? Now people are moving into prison to an anal island. (laughs) They would have been living in his asshole. You know what I mean? For 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 years, you know, until he would have taken his life, or they would have killed him. But they probably would have killed him first. Oh yeah, and it and that's just the way it is. You know what I mean? It would have been like, a torturous life for him. Yeah, but it I should mean, he be. deserved it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if, if you commit it's shit like that, but there's so many. Uh, I want to talk about this uh, on another show. There's like I'm hooked on Netflix now, and there's so many people that didn't even. They were in jail for so many years, and they didn't even do the crime, but the lazy I, police work and all that shit. And it was we'll all get, prosecutors that just want to, they're, all, they they're all about numbers. They're like, I want to make sure that my record is 100%. It's, it's like, amazing. you want to make sure that you're putting the right person in prison. Exactly. And I can imagine how many people are in jail that, and it's a horrible place, jail. Believe me, I've <sighs> been in there. I, I can only, I've been in there four days, but let me tell you, I've never had that many men. I've never had any men look into my asshole. <laughs> but they looked into my asshole four or five times. Did they night. whistle it, into it? No. <laughs> By the end, I said, if you find anything in there, we're splitting it. That's how often they, they hated me. I was so fucking crazy when I got in there. It's not a and good place no. when you don't belong there. Most, some people can deal with it. I know I couldn't. And... It, it, it was just horrible. I can't, you know, it's mm. funny when you watch it and it'd be like, the guy was uh, convicted and he's spending three years. And you think, oh, well, you know, it's three years. Yeah. Could you imagine mm. three years of your life in a prison? Oh, yeah. It's just, it's, uh, there's that show 60 Days mm. In where they got these people volunteering oh, they, they, they to go into prison. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, but that's and, fake. Come on, man. But still, there's the oh, point that it, imagine it being man. 60 days, two months. And they don't give you chocolate. Because they don't want you to break out. <laughs> yeah. No, they give you chocolate oh, and when they when Christ. they introduce you to your new fucking to your new cellmate. <laughs> hey, here's, here he is, chocolate. Yeah, yeah, melt that all up in your backside. <laughs> John, did I hope everybody heard that? He said they don't give you chocolate because they're afraid you're gonna break out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're the worst. Oh my god! But imagine he's uh, bringing a big chocolate. Here's your chocolate, big Easter. Here's your Easter bunny. <laughs> why is that Easter bunny moving? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why is that bunny slipping my underwear around my my boxers? And they give you boxers. I'm not even a boxer guy. I had to wear a fucking boxer. But then they when when, when I flipped out, they 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 threw me in a psycho ward and they take all your clothes away. So I was thrown in. It was like Planet of the Apes. They throw you in. They basically hose you off. Not really. But they put this thing on you, like a turtle suit. You have no clothes on. You have no pillow, nothing. And you're fucking just laying there. You don't want to go to jail, fucking people. Let me tell you something. The food sucks. <laughs> if the food was good, I could have dealt with it. But it was fucking horrible. And if I wasn't having a, uh, a Xanax fucking breakdown uh, after the second day, it wouldn't have been as bad. But fucking, let me tell you something. You don't want to get stuck in there without, if you're on medicine, thank God I'm done with that shit, but you will fucking will want to die, you know, yeah. because you never had a feeling like this. It's fucking- I don't even like going in Monopoly jail. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's the only guy that got raped there. <laughs> Facebook jail. He was playing with his uncle, and he got thrown in jail, and he goes, well, Joe, I guess I got to fuck yeah. you now. Look, look what's look- in your community chest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look, uh, look who won again. <laughs> I'm going to be in Conti's asshole again. Oh, what a good nephew he is. Always rolls a four when he's near the prison. Marvin Ironically, Garten. I am a four, so it's yeah. the same thing. He's fucking a four at a prison. All right, we got to get out of here. We'll be back uh, next week or the show after this. Uh, you're listening to 
When the Libby breaks on BeTerrific.com. We'll see you next time.